I'm going to show you how this budget Chromebook can turn most of its weaknesses into strengths. If you're budget Chromebook shopping, then the Lenovo IdeaPad 3 11.6 inch Chromebook is going to be high up your list, and that's exactly what I have here. If you watch my YouTube shorts or TikToks or follow on Twitter, you'll have already seen my unboxing and that I paid just £71, so that's about 88 US dollars. It's a grade A refurb like new but came without the original box. Initial impressions, it's very plasticky as you may expect and there's no touchscreen, but those weaknesses help with one of its strengths. It's very lightweight at just 2.32 pounds, about 1.05 kg. This particular model has 32 gig of storage, 4 gig of RAM, and a processor you've seen in a lot of the other Chromebooks I've reviewed on the channel, the Intel Celeron N4020. That means Chrome OS updates through to the AUE date of June 2027, and decent all-round performance and battery life, easily getting through a day with it, and it can handle some light gaming too, like Roblox. I'll link to my video on the X-Rocker controller in this video's description. It's got decent port selection too, including dual USB-A and C, which they really didn't need to offer on a budget Chromebook like this. There's also a headset jack, micro SD card slot, and a Kensington lock port. The speakers are on the bottom of the Chromebook, which is often the way on these smaller models, and particularly on budget Chromebooks. It's not as nice as having them on the keyboard deck firing up, but they do get loud enough and do the job. Here's some audio and music from one of my recent Chromebook YouTube shorts. So it's the Acer Chromebook 317. Like if you've enjoyed this, what a beast, that's why. Size definitely matters. Six Chromebook models from smallest to largest screen. Wait to the end to see the full difference. Opening the Chromebook up, you can see the screen doesn't go flush 180 degrees back with the keyboard deck. That is a shame, but it's obviously not a convertible like the Lenovo Flex 3i, shown here in grey. I'll link to my review of that in this video's description, as it's the obvious upgrade option to this Chromebook for you to consider. When it comes to the keyboard deck, it actually looks and feels to me to be pretty similar to the keyboard deck from the Flex 3i. It's great Lenovo borrowed from that. The keys are shallow and have a nice feel to them, and equally the trackpad feels firm and responsive enough. Moving on to the screen, I've already mentioned this is of course a non-touch screen and it's HD rather than full HD. Again, don't expect ultra high resolution on a Chromebook like this and for an 11.6 inch screen it's really not an issue. The fact it's TN rather than IPS means it's a bit more washed out with worse viewing angles, but I think it looks better in person than it's picked up on the camera here. It's another weakness for some that may actually be a benefit to others, helping to aid longer battery life. The screen is one of the main places Lenovo have saved cost on this Chromebook and hopefully it's what's helped keep the price low for you too, another positive. If you're using it indoors directly in front of you on your lap or at a table and you're not using it for hours on end, I don't think it's a problem. It could drive my full HD 1080p HP monitor via my Lemurel hub without any issue. I'll link to a video on that in the video description of this one if you want to learn more. The webcam is at the top of the screen and as you'd expect is pretty basic, offering up to 0.9 megapixel photos in a 16 by 9 aspect ratio and 720p video. It does the job. If you are considering this Chromebook, definitely check out this next video to see the equivalent competition from HP in the form of the HP 11A Chromebook.